Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and a uh, couple of questions I will answer here about the problem that we have with uh, the last patch Tuesday regarding the uh, local authority security. First of all, this applies only to Windows 11. So anybody with Windows 10 that's saying, um, I don't have that on my system. No, you don't. And it does not apply to you. So uh, this is not for you. Your uh, security, Windows security, if it has a little green check mark, everything's fine and everything's okay. And it doesn't matter. You don't have that local authority security thing that I'm talking about. It has to do with Windows 11 and only Windows 11. And even in Windows 11, if you go here into the uh, system and the Windows security and you go into device security and you go and click the core isolation and the local authority security protection might be showing off and you can't turn it on. It is possible, especially if you're running a unsupported hardware. That's possible that it's not possible to turn it on. It's not a big, big deal. It's not a big, big deal. But, you know, it's it's the way that, uh, that you know, it's better on. But for those that have a compatible system and that yours is off and you can't turn it on uh, there's a little registry trick that you can go and check to uh, turn it on so go into your search type reg edit for the registry editor so reg edit there it goes registry editor and the registry editor what you'll want and I'm already here but I'm gonna actually do it again for all of you guys what you want to do is go into open or expand the H key local machine. In there, you will expand system. In the system, you will expand current current control set. So current control set. In here, you will actually expand control. And then you go down, you should see something called LSA as you see here it's expand LSA but if you click on it so local security authority LSA what you want to make sure is that run as PPL on the right side you have different things run as PPL this for most people needs to be set to 2 so mine is set to one right now. I will set it to two and click OK. And um, you might also have a run as PPL booth, depending on the system or not. Some do, some do not. If you do not have it, you can create a D word. So right click and new. And here, D word. And uh, what you will do is create run as PPL boot. So run with a R, uppercase R, as with an uppercase A, PPL with uppercase and boot, B O uppercase O O T. Press enter, double click on it. You want that to be two also, and press OK. If you don't have any of these keys, create both. Create the run as PPL by right clicking, clicking new, clicking D word, and of course giving it the value two, and create the run as PPL booth, give it the value two, and this will, um, give you also another thing is that if you have a reboot warning all the time the reboot warning should actually go away from the uh, Windows security app so that's uh, another fix here if you, it's off or if it tells you that it, you have to restart and every time you restart it still says restart if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching